meeting was a roll call of not just the experts and ministers of agriculture, trade and regional integration. It was a gathering of technical partners, humanitarian and non-governmental organizations. The meeting heard that cereal production diminished from 60 million 222,000 tons between 2010 and 2011 compared to 54 million 780,000 tons in 2011-2012, representing a 9% fall in production. Experts also say the acute food insecurity affects between 13 and 16 million for who urgent food response is required. The World Food Programme Deputy Regional Director, Claude Gibida, notes Nigeria's contributions in this direction. We are thankful for everything that the Nigerian government is doing today, just like they did in 2010, where they also authorized that we bought 20,000 metric tons of sorghum from Nigeria. And we really count on Nigeria to be uh, 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 a building block <laughs> Uh, in helping us address food security problems, address humanitarian crisis in the region. The implications of reduced food supply result in nutritional inadequacy that has devastating effects on the region's population, especially children. The mortality of children affected by severe malnutrition is between 25 and 30 percent. Uh, so, therefore, the need for this urgent response. Part of the recommendations of the high-level meeting in Togo includes the early distribution of seeds to farmers and the facilitation of the movement of World Food Programme food supply within states and borders of affected countries, a role which Nigeria had so far played effectively. In Lomé, Togo, Paul, Mefo NTN News 24.